Hello everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by webvidtouch.com. This is video 24 in the HTML training series, and in this video we'll be learning about CSS classes. So, let's begin by talking about what a CSS class is. When we're coding in CSS, you can write down like body, and then whenever a body tag is made, make the background black. Every paragraph, make the background blue. Well, there's an easier way, or there's a different way we can do this. Let's say we don't want all the paragraphs to be blue colored. Well, we can do this. We can just give certain ones that we want blue, or certain ones that we want red, by giving them each a different class. So let's go ahead and let's start typing our CSS real quick, and then I'll be able to explain how, uh, how what a class is, how what a class that's. That's not valid. Um, what a class is and how we're gonna we can use it. I'm not talking too good today. Um, so let's go ahead. Right under the head tag, we'll start writing our CSS. We'll just use inline style sheet. Uh, style type equals text slash CSS. And then right here, we're gonna put our closing style tag. And right here, of course, is where we type our styles at. All right. So let's go ahead and just start with P. We'll change the paragraph tag. Background color um, red. Actually, let's do color of the text with goes green. And then let's get down here in the body and make a few paragraphs. A couple paragraphs. Actually, let's make a few. So I have my three paragraph tags, or, or three sets of paragraph tags, and each one will just type something like, hello, this is a paragraph tag. And we'll just go ahead and copy this, and paste it right into the other tags. So you should have something that looks like this right now. Alright, and when we load our page up, we have three lines of paragraph tags saying the same thing, all in green text. Well, let's say I want this bottom right, bottom one right here to have red text. Well, since this right here changes the color for all paragraph tags, I'm not going to be able to do it unless I go in here and change the style this way, and then style equals color red. Sure, we can do it that way, but let's say I want this one to be red also. So instead of doing it this way, by using styles right inside the paragraph tags, there's another way we can do this. And that's by using CSS classes. What a class is, is just a little sheet of characteristics that are going to be for whatever tag, or whatever tag you put them in. Um, you know, let's write this, let's write something real quick. Um, right after the P tag, closing, put a dot, and then we'll put red text. And this is where we're going to call this is what we're going to call our class. And whenever you're defining a class, you always have to put this little period right there or the dots right before the class name. And now just like if we're writing any kind of uh cat CSS had to put two curly brackets, I think it's what they're called. And now what we're going to do is type color red. So Anything that this class is on, like if it's on this paragraph tag, which we're going to define in a minute, it's going to make the color of that element, I should say, it's going to change the color of the text to red. So if we go down here in this paragraph tag right here, and right after it, we aren't going to write style. I didn't even spell it right. We're going to type in class. And then we're going to hit equals. And then two quotation marks, and then inside that we're going to type in red text. Don't put the period in here. The only reason we put a period right here is to find out it's a class. And another note is that classes can be put onto multiple elements. Um, the next video will probably go over IDs, which I'll explain what ID is in the next video. And you can only put those on one element on each page. So these are for multiple elements. So right now we're giving 
this paragraph the characteristics of this class right here called red text. That ain't too bad, is it? And if we go right here and then refresh our browser, red text is right here. If we go to source, we probably don't have to since we. Okay, view source. And then since this class is red text, blah blah blah. I don't even know why I opened the source actually up. And let's say I want to give this class or this paragraph the class of red text. Then I can type in red text right here. I preview it in my browser, and there we go. Two paragraphs with the red text class on it. And it's displaying red text, just like we want it to. And each time we change this class, it'll change it for both of these, actually. Then, instead of having to go, if these had just style tags right into them like this, and then I had to go in each and every one of those and change the style to whatever I want. Like, if I want to change the text to blue, I'll have to write blue right there, and I'm done. I don't have to go into each of these um, style tags, or the style attribute within the P tags. I don't have to go change each one of those. Now I can change it really quick right here, really quick, really quick right here and then it changes for all of them right then. So this is a pretty nice little feature that's um, you can use CSS with. If I want to change the font size of those tags I can do font size and it changes it for all of them. Let's make it 12. And let's say I want to change the font, the type of font, like the, how should I say it? The font family. Well, I already typed out the font family. Let's say I want them to be Arial, but I want the top one to be the default. Then you can do it like that. And then these are both Arial, and then this guy is left alone. So that's pretty cool about the classes is that you can apply the class to multiple elements in your pages and then if you want to change it real quick just go ahead and type in a little another definition like if I want to just change the color I just change the color really quick like I'll change it back to red since the class is called red text and it changes really really quick so that's pretty nice about classes in CSS you can also apply these to like H1 tags. You can apply these to any tag basically that's in the body. Let's say if let's make a class in CSS called header. And then we can make it I want the font size to be 14 pixels. And then if we make a H1 tag right here. You know the default H1 tags are really big. Well, if I apply this class to it, then it'll probably be smaller since I think the H1 tags are bigger than 14 pixels. And it'd be good if I type something in between them. I'll write heading. And it has the size of 14 pixels since it's using the class header. And I can change the color of it. Um, I better do something simple like blue. Blue is a pretty nice color, and it's just that quick and easy. So that's one may actually there's several major benefits, but that's one major benefit is that it applies to every element that's using that same class tag or that same cl uh, class. Get a little mixed up here, and that is basically it for the class tags or for class. In CSS, the classes in CSS, I'm not sure why I keep calling them tags for, they're actually attributes down here, as we learned in another video. But um, just remember that you can print on multiple elements in your web pages. Uh, next video, we'll learn about IDs, which are only applied to one element in your web pages. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about CSS classes. Um, go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.